Welcome to a new video and today it's about a very special plant which I consume since over 10 years already and this plant helped me to get rid of my iron deficiency. Also this plant helped me to get better skin and fuller hair in general. So the secret plant I'm talking about, okay I mean you saw it on the thumbnail actually, but the plant, uh, yeah it's a stinging nettle. Here I have one left because I already prepared a smoothie. You will see um, by the end of the video um, what kind of smoothie I prepared and what uh, ingredients you have to take that it actually tastes um, good, uh, tasty and mild and gen in general uh, stinging nettles they are tasting quite mild. They are not like they have not this intense taste like some other greens. So I really love uh, stinging nettles in my smoothies, or stinging nettle smoothies. Some of you they may be watching from a different country where uh, stinging nettles uh, ain't growing. Then I can actually recommend you getting some stinging nettle powder. You guys who live more in a northern climate, I really encourage you to try stinging nettle because it's such a special plant. Um, the thing about stinging nettle is, of course, it's stinging, I know. So you maybe can wear some cloths when you uh, um, yeah, pick the stinging nettle or harvest them. Um, but if you process the stinging nettle, then um, the, the stinging effect goes away. And here in Germany the vegetation or vegetation is so lush right now. It's just amazingly beautiful and green. I really love it and um, I can harvest so many wild plants, wild edibles. So I really appreciate if you give me a thumbs up. Maybe if you can, could inspire you in this video, so but you will know by the end. Um, yeah, now I want to talk about the stinging nettle and why I love stinging nettle so much. Stinging nettle has a lot of iron and I could get rid of my iron deficiency. Um, yeah, when I a few years ago, because you know, when women are menstruating, they lose some iron, and some um, some women can have a deficiency when they have a. a more blood flow every month, a heavier blood flow. So I think it's very important that we eat greens, especially wild edibles are very good to, to combat the iron deficiency. Also stinging nettle has so much protein for a plant, especially the stinging nettle powders. Um, I'm sure you can get it maybe on Amazon or something like that or in an organic store, um, depends where you live. Um, but you, you should get it, you should get it everywhere. Like 33.8% uh, um, of uh, the blend is actually protein. It's it's hard to believe, I know, but it's the tr the truth. Especially the seeds of the stinging nettle. I think you call it seeds, right? Um, yeah, they have a lot of protein, so it's it's amazing. Also stinging nettle can help you with arthritis, with like back issues. I forgot the name in English. In German we say Rheuma. It's not a nice word actually. The stinging nettle has some iodine which is actually good for your thyroid. Also did you know that iron is very good for your, uh, for your thyroid as well? Also stinging nettle has a lot of magnesium which is also very important when especially for us women when we suffer from PMS or something like that. Also silica is so important for our connective tissue for building collagen and also copper. You know a lot of people they have issues with their hair. It's graying um, very early in life. Sometimes this can be a copper deficiency. So if you're looking for copper yeah, stinging nettle could be the answer. So yeah, it helps to combat early craying of the hair. It's very anti-inflammatory stinging nettle. So if you have any issues with inflammation in your body, you should definitely consume stinging nettle. <laughs> but here comes a very uh, interesting fact about stinging nettle. Stinging nettles are actually quite um, healthy when it comes to our hormonal balance and a lot of people have issues nowadays with their hormones, especially with estrogen dominance. Too many people have 
too much estrogen, estrogen in their body. Estrogen, the female hormone, and I'm not to only talking about women, I also talk about guys uh, or men which have too much estrogen in their body. And it often shows with like a, a belly, a big belly. So, and there's one enzyme often very active which converts uh, testosterone into estrogen. And this enzyme it calls aromatase. And the interesting thing about stinging nettle is in, it inhibits um, this uh, process, you know, when um, yeah, aromatase converts testosterone into estrogen. And also we women have issues with too much estrogen. Some people think we cannot have enough estrogen, but that's not true because we get so much bad estrogen from, you know, like plastics, chemicals in our cosmetics and uh, from the environment. And these xenoestrogen, so Gino, Xeno means foreign, they um, invade our body and that means um, especially in the second half of our cycle that some women get issues with too much estrogen and not enough progesterone and I think they kind of you know balance each other out and progesterone is, progesterone is more important in our second half of the cycle it means after ovulation um, till the uh, menstruation is uh, progesterone very important. So it, uh, the stinging nettle can really help to balance the home, uh, hormones, especially during this time. And also your menstrual blood flow maybe will, uh, won't be as heavy if you consume more stinging nettles. So I really encourage you to try this wonder plant. For me it's really just a wonder plant. And you know these plants have so many more nutrients than the conventional plants from the supermarket uh, because the, their roots go so deep into the soil and they're always searching for water and also they have to protect themselves against insects and sunshine too much sunshine the weather so they have to actually certain they need to have these certain plant molecules or um, phenol pen, how you call it in english um, polyphenols i think you say it like in german polyphenole and now so. i will show you the smoothie which i prepare almost every day um, yeah, to can get my sting to get the stinging nettle nettles into my body, and it's actually a quite delicious smoothie. So yeah, be prepared for it <laughs> and have fun. Yeah, watching it. These are the ingredients for the smoothie: so frozen blueberries, also two ripe bananas. Don't be afraid of the fructose because you combine it with stinging nettle greens. So. The greens are actually quite um, compensating for the fructose and also chia seeds which I like in my smoothie for some more protein. Dear viewers, this definitely tastes better than it looks like. It looks like mud, I know, but the berries, they always make this kind of effect. So I really hope you liked my video today. It was quite short, but um, yeah, there's so much more to talk about uh, when it comes to stinging nettles. But uh, I think I don't want to bore you or something like that. So I hope I see you in my next video and I really would appreciate if you um, yeah, subscribe to my channel and this gives me some motivation um, to do more videos and just let me know what kind of topics you're interested in and maybe next time there will be a video about it on this channel then I see you next time. Bye! <laughs>